It's time for stupid physics tricks. Now, please remember, this is only a demonstration. It's not on the examination. So please, please, by all that you hold dear on this good earth, no studying. This week's stupid physics trick is by Katie Mayer, who is a professor of physics at the University of Texas, San Antonio. Hi. Hi. Hi, guys. So what is the mascot at uh, UTSA? At UTSA? Yeah. It's Rowdy the Roadrunner. Rowdy the Roadrunner. Yes. Very nice. So what Rowdy the Roadrunner style stupid physics trick do you have for <laughs> us uh, today? So this is a classic physics party trick, yeah. um, and it's a challenge. So yeah. the challenge is, how do you hang this full bottle, this is a bottle of water, right. off the edge of the bar or the yeah. edge of the table, yeah. using just these three matchsticks. Just matchsticks. Yes. Hmm. Let's see, these are regulation matchsticks? Yep. They were struck about three days ago. Okay, what do you need? <laughs> uh, just a table, something with uh, the edge. Just give me a moment here. Okay. Let me see if this... Oh, wow. will uh, suit your needs here. There you go. That's perfect. All right. Thank you. Take it away. Yep. Okay. So let me put this down. So the first matchstick yeah. goes in the middle. Mm -hmm. Oh, between the strings. Yeah, between the strings. Oh, okay. This is the most challenging part. Yes. No, yes. I can imagine. I would never have tried to put a okay. matchstick there. There we go. All okay. right. Yep. And then the second one, we're going to use to hang it off the edge, mm -hmm. like so. Yeah. And then the third matchstick stabilizes the whole thing. Mm -hmm. It goes right. I can't imagine that that's going to hang there. All right, so yes. that was pretty nice. So, <laughs> so uh, how does that actually work? All right, um, so this works because uh, we have set up a static equilibrium mm -hmm. situation mm -hmm. where the net torque on this top critical weight-bearing matchstick yeah. is zero. All right, well, we're physicists, so we have to, you know, we have to free body diagram we this. We gotta draw I mean, it out. Yeah, when in doubt, draw it out. Yes, okay. draw it out. So uh, here's the edge of the table. And the topmost matchstick, like this. And so let's just think about only the forces on this one matchstick. Mm -hmm. So there's a normal force uh, at this end, upwards um, from the table surface. Mm -hmm. There's a downwards tension from the string that's holding the weight. And then uh, if we add in our additional matchsticks, so this is a side view, so this mm -hmm. is matchstick number two and number three, there is now a normal force this way. Mm -hmm. that has got components like this and like that. Okay. So now you can see that between this upward normal force, this upwards component, and the downwards tension, the net torque on this matchstick is gonna be zero. So right, because yeah, we the may not rest. tension's at the pivot point, so it has no torque at all. And then the, okay, so those two cancel. Very nice. Yep. I was pretty nervous about this one. This is the first <laughs> one that I really didn't think was going to make it, but it's questionable uh, she for a second off. there. Yeah, it was, uh, pretty good. <laughs>